Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial on the UNSC Hornet in one-to-one -one scale from Halo. We recently did the UNSC Hawk, and now it's time for the Hornet. The Hornet's a fair bit smaller, um, but both of these vehicles, or aircraft I suppose, were in Halo Wars. But this one did first feature in Halo 3, and then again in Halo 2 Anniversary. Minimally in Halo 4 as a background prop, and Halo Wars 2 as well. Hopefully we'll see it in Halo Infinite. And if it does appear and it does look drastically different, then of course we will do a remake. Uh, the 2 to 1 model over here, I'm just going to quickly show you this just for a size comparison. Much bigger, much more detailed, um, and that will come at a later date as well. But today we are going to do this one, and this is also day number 8, I think. <laughs> I forget. Uh, day number 8 of the 12 Days of Christmas tutorials, so four more to go which is interesting. And yeah, let's crack on with layer number one. Um, although saying that, we, we might be able to do it all in one take, but I guess we'll we'll see what um, tutorial Brandon wants to do. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's crack on with the build. Okay, so you need a fair amount of materials for this build. Um, we're going to start with green terracotta, waxed weathered cut copper stairs and slab, smooth stone slab, warp trap door, mossy cobblestone wall, warped fence gate, end rod and birch fence gate just to start off with and um, so we're going to go to here and the green line is going to be the front of the build the red is going to be the back just bear that in mind one two three one two three like that with the smooth stone and then the waxed uh, slabs in front so building towards the front remember go up top half and do another two like that actually no sorry uh, there and then there all right and then another one is going to go just here and there as well okay with the warp trap door that's one here and then take the mossy cobblestone wall one and two and rod one and two okay throw the end rod away now and just keep these ones going to take the green terracotta that's going to be one and two there stairs behind it and then do another green terracotta on top of the stairs another stairs is going to go there and then this is going to be a stair there stair there as well okay take a lever one flip it one there flip it as well all right Take a observer now. I'm gonna do one kind of just there, like so. And if you have a um, debug stick, like if you're on World Edit or whatever on multiplayer, you'd put an iron trap door here and then flip it down, flip it down. Obviously, I, I don't have one at the minute, and I know it's not something that everyone has access to. So instead, I would recommend either using a uh, birch or a dark oak trap door, perhaps. Like that, just make sure it doesn't flip open. Um, but again, iron trap door is the ideal option there if, if you can make it work. But again, it's no worries if not, it doesn't detract massively. Uh, birch fence gate on the front and then warped fence gates on the side. Just kind of curve that around a little bit. I know it's not perfect looks much better on the two to one model but but still and um, you're gonna grab black concrete and also a polished black stone slab that's gonna be two black concrete there and the slab goes just on top of the observer and another one goes there on top of that with the dark oak trap doors again one and two and then also grab a black banner that's going to be there and there as well. Add a black carpet. That's just going to go on top of the uh, black concrete there. And that's pretty much all the cockpit uh, pit blocks you need to do. Can't speak. There we go. Sword. From there now, um, stairs just there, normal like that. And then slabs on either side. Get the observer again. This is for the kind of representation of those... Um, chain guns on the top that's two of those there you can throw that away add one 
two and leave it there for now. That's going to be a warp trap door. Do a slab just here and then two more green terracotta like that. Slab on the underside of that one. And we're also going to add another slab just here. Or is that a stair actually? It might be a stair. I think it's a stair, yeah. So stair just like that. All right. We are going to take the polished, or is it, uh, yeah, polished deep slate slab. It's going to be one on the block there. And then a dark oak trap door. It's going to go on this one. And then this final one is going to be a polished um, deep slate stairs. And that's kind of going to go like, like that. So you can see that tails just magically appeared out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's very precise with the blocks that you need to make it look, you know, good. Put a green carpet on top of the observers. Just cover those up. Um, we're going to take a hopper now. That's going to be this weird sticky out bit on the back. I have no idea what it does, but it's there. So it goes just on that block. Okay. This is going to be a warp trap door just here. One and two with green terracotta on each of those blocks. You are going to take a warped sign now. That's going to be on the front on either side. This is going to be a weathered stair, top half, both sides. And a slab on top. And just do a warp trap door there and there as well. Okay. We'll finish this bit off here and then we'll do the uh, actual turbines. This is going to be a uh, mossy cobblestone wall on either side with a warped fence gate. That's going to go just there and flip it. There and flip it. And then this is going to be a bottom half stone brick slab just there and there as well. Okay, so for the final bit already, we are literally almost there. We are going to take a, a, a cauldron. One and two. And then on top of the cauldron, it's going to be one of these polished deep slate slabs. That color is so close. It's really, really awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then warp trap door. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And just make sure to flip all those down. And I think that actually pretty much does it. I think that is that is everything. I'm looking at my reference model just to make sure, but it looks like it. Um, yeah, okay, cool. That is the one-to-one um, the -one UNSC Hornet. Well, let's put the shaders on, have a quick post-build showcase. And then we'll, uh, we'll be done with day number eight. There is going to be a bigger uh, Halo tutorial towards the end of the um, Christmas tutorials, which is probably going to be about 40 or 50 minutes. Um, that didn't help at all. I'm trying to get like the best light in here. This will do, I guess. Yeah, again, if you can replace these with um with a uh, with an iron trap door, then that's probably gonna look better. But yes, that is the again you want to see Hornet one to one. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next day of the Christmas tutorials and in the next video in general. So yeah, thank you and goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.